I think maybe the story that I got the most satisfaction from was the story that I assigned as an editor to a couple of reporters at the Enquirer, and, and uh, it was about toxic waste dumping. All of these highly toxic chemical wastes were being just thrown in holes in the ground, and there was no regulation really to speak of. And major corporations were doing this. What resulted was the Superfund legislation, which started to clean up a lot of this stuff. And that really showed me that that kind of journalism, you know, enterprise journalism, could actually have an impact on policy. I really enjoyed that. I immediately came to the Philadelphia Inquirer from the Associated Press. I had been the, the state capitol correspondent for the Associated Press. I had run the state capitol bureau in Louisiana. Wire service journalism was a good training ground because you had to work fast, but you also had to uh, abide by some very strict standards of writing. And that's the style of writing that I think the whole world could actually benefit from because it imposes order on a mass of information, which is really what writing is. It's imposing order on a mass of information. Well, this is a mass of information right here, Ocean Grove, New Jersey. And the trick is to make sense out of it. And I learned to do that uh, when I was a young wire service reporter. It's the best lesson I ever learned. We call it an eclectic blog. Uh, it has multiple components to it, little of, like a magazine. And that was our concept. And uh, so we have the, the center portion of it, which is Ocean Grove, uh, news and information about this little town and the opportunity for the people who live here to uh, participate. Even though it's a little town, it has an urban feel to it because you can walk around. We have sidewalks here. You can go walk downtown, you can get a coffee, pick up the newspaper, and people talk to you. There is a porch culture in this town that is extremely unique because unlike um, rural America where the houses are far apart and it may have that small town rural feel to it, this town, the houses are really close together and people are close together and they talk to each other. If you write a story about something, um, people react to it immediately and they don't just react to it by sending a letter to the editor which is what you'd get in Philadelphia they react to it by stopping you on the street the next day and remarking about it I've been reading the blog lately and Charles does an excellent job on describing uh, one of the owners of property within Ocean Grove who are very delinquent in paying taxes and at the same time delinquent in renovating the dream of people who worked at newspapers used to be that they would retire and then they would go to some small town and run the local weekly. And uh, I'm not sure that any of them ever really did that, but that used to be the, the dream, you know. I would just like to go to some little burg and run my own weekly and just, you know, be in charge of it and do it all my way. Well, working with Blogfinger is kind of like doing that you know it's it's journalism on a very very limited scale and a small town is a comprehensible place you can actually get to know and understand an awful lot of what a small town is I like to think that uh, people can make a difference and I don't think it matters very much whether you're doing that at a national level or whether you're doing it in little tiny ocean groves sometimes I think the smaller the scale the more I like it.